Hey guys, I'm Shane Lipsy. Welcome back to Alan Week. So we're right here in this cabin again still. Again still. No, we're still here in the cabin. How about that? I just got the keys to my little cabin that I'm about to get. And we're gonna go do this. I think we gotta walk out to Lover's Peak or Lover's Point, something. This is crazy talk, Al. Al? Al? We'll see. We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, the killer. This is not a goddamn debate. Was it very powerful there? I'm going to Lover's Bless Peak. You. He said to come alone. Bless. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Bless. Stop it. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Stop it. Stop sneezing. Everybody gets one. Okay, good. We got some more batteries here. Oh, well, didn't actually mean to switch off the lights, since they need to be on. Anywhere else to go? Can I go out front? Oh. Why does it look like they're off for the most part? Doesn't matter. I really, really like this game. It's really well written, and there's a lot of stuff to find in it, which is really cool. The whole manuscript kind of thing is is a really neat little feature to have added to the game. In finding the book the book pieces, the manuscript pieces, you're really honestly putting the puzzle together of like what's been going on, what's happening. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. Okay. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Lock the door now. But yeah, you feel like you're really putting the puzzle together and you're you're getting to listen to like his crazy thoughts. And I don't know if they're, you know, gonna come to fruition and, you know, you're gonna see them actually play out, but I mean, when he said he was he was interested in punching that guy in the face, it eventually played out like almost immediately. So, but I do just like in pretty much every game I've played so far, I, I do really really like just exploring and finding new stuff in the game that I didn't ever find before, or if I had never played the game, I'd never really thought about being a feature. So, pretty interested in that. Definitely. Um, oh. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced that. a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Well, it's not really that bothersome. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Woods is oh! oh god. Woods and me don't mit don't mix. I used to go camping all the time with like my uncles and my family, but I hated it. I really did hate it. Being alone out in the dark made me so angry. I used to be really afraid of the dark when I was very young. I, I disliked it entirely. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your dear fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. No plan. 
really just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen. Right, I think I'm gonna <laughs> not listen to that entirely, but I'm gonna take off here. That's just adding some, you know, secondary elements to this and you know, a little bit more of the story of what's going on. broke but yeah I used to I used to actually kind of like going camping I just didn't enjoy being out in the dark necessarily that was the main point of it I, I really didn't enjoy the dark <coughs> still gonna work crime and punishment the cancer and cure of civilization but some crimes are impossible to punish especially in night spring in the twilight tonight's episode we're not gonna we're not gonna watch that I'm sorry the man in the moon That's some, uh, that's some scary ambient sounds there. Let's, uh, let's walk away from that. Some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. What what page? Is this is this the place I need to go? Or is that the place? I don't There's no I mean there's a direction marker, so I guess this is just extra up here, but do not feed the wildlife. I'll do what I want. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable Ugh, truth. I'm so sorry she that I no just closer to do that nothing Hollywood but yawn. This was. game is actually very fun, and it's very good. I'm just really out of it most of the time when I'm playing games. Usually waking up, like, immediately, and then going... <laughs> straight to recording that's kind of like my thing that's what i do it's the, it's the immediate time that i think about it the vision left me weak this was no head injury no! No! what the fuck is happening Is it? Oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. Oh, see, there he said it. I found Damn it. Came true. It knew. So 
dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. I won't. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Shh. Good boy. Okay. Still can't go outside. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. See the manuscript page, I'm sorry. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Huh. Oh, shit. I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Oh, Rusty! Rusty! This guy's getting fucked up. Let's go! The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Is rusty. I don't actually see him in here. Something had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. And the dog got out too. Okay, cool. Please don't feed the animals. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners. Oh, prisoners shit. License, no what are you doing?
Ooh, that was pretty close. I don't remember actually how to dodge all of a sudden, so that doesn't help me. Is that it? Okay, that's all I can hold. Okay, okay, okay. This is crazy stuff going on, man. Right there, so that means I regain some health. I only got hit that one time, though. What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Not even me. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. Rose. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Don't look like there's anything over there, so we're just gonna go ahead and keep pushing on here. Maybe this thing will have some batteries in it or something. Oh, revolver ammo reached a limit. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. I was just about to say, I was looking for another sign to point me in a different direction to, uh, to look for one of the missing cases or something. I guess I found it. Of frequent bootlegger activity throughout the prohibition. Get a shotgun again. Ooh, it is getting darker and darker as I get close. We'll go back to this. I only have those two shells for that, that shotgun, so I really don't want to waste them. Three of you. Oh shit, I forgot. Again, I forget how to actually dodge all of a sudden. I'm actually gonna. Uh, I really don't want to run all the way back over there for some bullets. I'm going to have to real quick. I might cut this out. But I really need some more bullets. I'm down to 16. I'm really bad. This is this is slowly becoming like who like this channel is slowly becoming how bad can I be at FPSs? But we're gonna run back up here real quick. Grab the ammunition that's actually up here, and then head back down to Lover's Peak area. 
Yeah, okay, so there's only another couple. Alright. Oh, there is a way to run. I'm just an idiot. And I kind of forgot that. But he doesn't have a stamina. He gets winded, like you can hear him start breathing heavy. going to use the shotgun yet unless I come up on like a like a heavier enemy type man it takes so much to kill them right now actually like get away from that shit. God, there's like Twice in a row, really? How the fuck do I beat that? Half my health. That 
one guy, I can try to keep ducking, but it's not working all that well. And when they throw shit at me, obviously, I can't do anything about that. What is this? I can't. I can't beat this. There is no way to win, and its run is so staggeringly bad. What the fuck? I didn't even get hit. It makes no sense. And they can run faster than I can. Which, again, makes no sense. And obviously, the more hurt I am, the more I cannot run. Oh, come on, man. You're gonna die again, right here. How are you supposed to get through that with 28 bullets? All right, well, I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna end this right here because I can't get past this and I have no clue how to, so I'm gonna figure it out and we're gonna, we're gonna come right back, all right? Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye.